evening. This is RobinBremer.net, author of the Kingdom series, Feed My People Joy, Kingdom Living for End Times. October 16th, launch date, more books coming in the series uh, soon after that. Um, today I want to talk about Jesus, how he gave himself for the church, and why he gave himself for the church. A lot of people don't realize this, but uh, if you look at Ephesians 5.25, it says that Jesus gave himself that. He could, that he would, oops, <laughs> it's windy out here, that he would cleanse us in the church with the washing of the water of the, washing of the word, okay? That he would make us a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle, holy and without blemish. Okay, so you don't get holy and without blemish by your good behavior, your right choices, your obedience. You get um, holy and without spot and wrinkle or blemish and a glorious church through the blood of Jesus. And let me read that again. Jesus gave himself that. Why did Jesus give himself? He gave himself that. He would sanctify us. See, not that we would, the result of doing, making right choices, not sinning and doing right things is knowing this, is the blood of Jesus and knowing this. That behavior follows. So, um, he by giving himself, he sanctified us. He cleansed us with the washing of the water of the word. He made us a glorious church, not having spot and wrinkle, holy and without blemish. A lot of people think, oh, we got to get our life pure. We got to do this. We can't do that. We got to do this. We got to be pure. We're going to miss the rapture. But you know what? You want to be pure, not because you have to earn it or you, you know, you have to do it. You want to be pure because you want to get close to God. You want to be it's like a relationship with your spouse. You don't want to do anything that's going to hurt his feelings. You don't want to do anything that's going to hurt their feelings or make them um, uh, just just anything that would would be not loving toward them. And and the same thing with God. You want to have right behavior. You want to try not to sin because you love him so much, not because it's. Um, you do this or else or you earn it it's because you love him and listen right here it says that he cleanses you with the washing of the word that you're a glorious church that you're not that you have no spot and wrinkle you're holy and without blemish and if you read about his death it also says that his death in his death he did these things for us so it's by the blood of jesus that you are glorious you are without spot or wrinkle now start acting that way <laughs> My name is Robin Bremer, .net is my website, and I will talk to you tomorrow.